Hi, my name is Jantha Sunath from QA Training. This is part of a series of videos on how to use Excel more efficiently. This particular video relates to working with the Microsoft Ribbon and the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, in order to introduce the Microsoft Ribbon, let's open an Excel file. The Microsoft Ribbon will be found on the top of your Excel spreadsheet. The ribbon itself is made up of three sections, tabs, groups, and tools. Tabs are the elements found on the top of the ribbon. For example, home, insert, page layout, formulas. These are what we call tabs. Each tab is in turn split into groups. So my home tab is split into a clipboard group, a font group, an alignment group and within each group you have tools so my home tab my clipboard group has all my clipboard related tools my format painter my cut my copy my font group will have all my font related tools my bold my italics my font color my font size so all font related tools are within that group so Microsoft structured this ribbon effectively to help users find tools more easily. Now, if you double click on your active tab, for example, in my case, the home tab is active. And if I double click on the active tab, the Microsoft ribbon disappears. Now, sometimes this causes panic amongst users, especially first time users thinking that I've turned the Microsoft ribbon off. How do I get it back on again? But actually, when you double clicked on your active tab, all you did was minimize the ribbon. Because if you click once on another tab, like insert, for example, that brings the ribbon back. But if you click on your Excel spreadsheet, it disappears again. If you click on page layout, the ribbon comes back. But if you click on a cell in your Excel spreadsheet, it disappears again. So you made your ribbon on demand. As you need the ribbon, the ribbon will be there. As you not, do not need the ribbon, the ribbon disappears. But if you want your ribbon fully active again, all you do is double click any tab. So find any tab in the ribbon, double click on it, and your ribbon is active. So whether you within the Microsoft ribbon or outside the Microsoft ribbon, the ribbon will stay. But another useful tool that you have is on the top left hand corner of your screen. And this is called your quick access toolbar. Now your quick access toolbar will house three tools by default. Save, undo, and redo. Those are the three default tools in your Quick Access Toolbar. But as the name of the toolbar suggests, Quick Access Toolbar, any tools you use on a regular basis within Excel should be housed within the toolbar. So you do not have to look for them whenever you need them. For example, if I click at the if I click on the arrow at the end of the Quick Access Toolbar, you'll notice some tools that I could potentially add to the Quick Access Toolbar. And some popular ones would be Print Preview and Print. Always useful to preview your Excel spreadsheets before you print them, rather than printing them and then thinking, nope, that didn't come out the way I thought it's going to come out, and then putting that in, in the, into the bin. Rather than previewing it first, looking at what it looks like, making any changes you need to make, and then sending it to the printer. Remember, it's all about sustainability these days. So I could potentially add the print print preview tool to my quick access toolbar simply by finding the tool in the list and clicking on it. And that should now add the print print preview tool to my quick access toolbar. Another useful tool to add to the quick access toolbar by clicking on the little arrow at the end again is the spelling tool. Always useful to proofread your Excel spreadsheets to make sure there's no spelling mistakes in there. So I can add the spelling tool to the quick access toolbar. And if you think there's other tools that I could potentially benefit from having those on the quick access toolbar, but those are not listed in the default list of tools, if you look through the list, you'll find more commands towards the bottom of the list. As you click on more commands, you'll find a host of tools that you could add. For example, add remove filter. If this is something you use on a regular basis, double click on add remove filter will add it to the quick access toolbar. 
Format Painter could be another useful tool to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. So if you find Format Painter, double click on it, it will add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. Another useful one relates to functions. As I scroll down this list, this list should be in alphabetical order. And as I scroll down this list, you'll find your sum function. Another popular tool that we use in Excel. So if I double click on the sum function, that will add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. And if ever you're looking for tools and you find you've looked through this list and the tool that you want is not in that list, if you look towards the top end of this list, you'll find choose commands from. And choose commands from is popular commands at the moment. And I could change popular commands to all commands. As I change it to all commands, every possible tool in Excel will now be listed. So you could scroll through this list of tools, find the tool that you need, double click on it to add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. And once you added the tools to your Quick Access Toolbar, once you click OK at the bottom, those tools should now appear in your Quick Access Toolbar. So rather than having to look for them, you have quick access to those tools. And another benefit of adding tools to your Quick Access Toolbar if you press the Alt key on your keyboard, that should display keyboard shortcuts, which means you can access these tools using those keys on your keyboard. For example, if I want to save this Excel file, all I do is press number one on my keyboard. Once I press number one on my keyboard, that will give me an option to save the file. Or if I press Alt again, and if I wanted to do a spelling grammar check, Spelling and grammar is number five in my quick access toolbar. Once I find number five on my keyboard and I hit on number five, it will run through a spell check to make sure there's no spelling mistakes in my spreadsheet. So you could access any tool using your keyboard rather than being dependent on the mouse. Notice if I press Alt again, that will also display keyboard shortcuts for various tabs in my ribbon. For example, I may want to visit my home tab. And if my mouse is out of commission, I can use the H key on the keyboard to then enter the home tab and each tool in the home tab will now have a keyboard shortcut. Notice certain tools have two letters. For example, if I wanted to change the font color of a piece of text, font color is FC. If you see two, two keys or combination of keys, you don't have to press those keys together. So you press F first. C second, and that will display your color palette. You can then use your arrow keys to choose the color you need. So you use your up arrow, your down arrow, your left arrow, and notice how the color of the font changes in A1 as I get to a particular color. And if I think this is the color I want, I hit the return key on my keyboard. Once that's done, that color is my chosen color. So you, in this way, you can access various tools using your keyboard rather than using your mouse. Hope you found this little video helpful. Look out for more links on uh, different ways to work more efficiently in Excel.